Welcome. Today's practice will be about opening the heart and allowing for more space in the throat and the shoulder girdle. So come to your mat and take Vajrasana, that's thunderbolt pose. You're just sitting on your shin bones, hips are at your heels. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can be in a cross-legged shape. Then begin breathing in and out through your nose, like steadying yourself with your breath and letting the breath be the conversation that you're gonna have for the next moments. Elbows will come right by your sides, palms facing up. And as the elbows go, they, as the elbows stay here, the arms will go out and you will inhale, lift your chest and look up. And then as the hands come together at the center, you will exhale and round your back. It's a very small movement. Inhale, arms will come out. It's like you're serving a platter to the side and the chest is lifting. And then you're pulling the baby fingers together and rounding. One more round, just like that, inhaling. So there's external rotation of your upper arms. And then when you exhale, there's internal rotation of your upper arms and your inflection, rounding. And then slowly the hands will come down by your sides. And already you'll start to feel like there's more flow and more opening for the lungs and for the chest. And now, very slowly, you will inhale your arms up. You'll reach them up over your head. And then you'll exhale your arms down and behind you, threading the thumb on the right to lead for weaving the fingers. And now you'll inhale, lift the chest up. And exhale, bow and fold forward and down here. So you don't have to be aggressive with your forward fold. Maybe you go five inches, six inches, and then you come up on the inhale, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then as you exhale, you'll float the body forward, chin toward the chest, space for the neck. Just one more round here, inhaling on the up, nice and wide in the collarbones, and then exhaling on the down. This time when you come up and you inhale, you'll bend the elbows and take the hands to the right side. And as the arms come to the right side, you'll snuggle those shoulder blades in and you'll inhale and lift the chest. And there becomes this brightness around the heart center. And then exhale and bow, fold forward. You might not get as far, right? and that's totally fine. Inhale, come up slowly. And then you side bend over to the right and you just let that body begin to feel oh, okay, this is what's gonna happen in this practice today. Inhale, come up through center, release the arms down, exhaling. Inhale the arms up once again. Weave the fingers behind the head this time. Elbows will bend and you will bow forward as you exhale. And then upon inhaling, you'll lift up. Now you'll lean over to the right, exhaling. And go ahead and inhale, come up and go to the left. All right, so the movements are one breath per movement, breathing, moving meditation. Inhale, come up through center, reach those arms up. Take the hands behind you. Now you thread and weave with the left thumb. One fold forward and down as you exhale. And then inhaling, coming up, and again, nice opening. This time, the elbows will bend and the hands will come over to the left. Stay tall in the spine, inhaling. Exhale over to that side there, and there's a lift through the center of the chest. Inhale, come up. Release the arms down and just feel. This is a great moment to set your intention for the practice. Opening center of chest or that mantra of, may I be here. Come onto the side in all fours, right? If your mat is straight, you would just lean forward and be on all fours. Slowly round your back as you exhale. Inhaling, arch your back, right? Extension here. Exhaling round. And a smooth inhale into extension. 
Go ahead and sit back on your heels. Bring your knees really close together. Slide your hands behind you. The seat stays, so your hips and your heels stay and your knees rise. And as your knees rise, you'll float the chest up here. Great stretch for the lower shins, right? A nice release there. And then exhale, slowly come out of that, back onto all fours. Extending that right leg and the left arm reach. Flex that right foot and see if you can lengthen and lift all the way up and out so that left arm can go now and reach. And you'll reach it back. On this first one, when you grab for that right foot, if you can touch it, great. If not, no big deal. You're grabbing the instep here, a little kick, opening the right set of quads there. And then slowly, gracefully release, right leg down, left arm down. Inhale and extend the left leg and the right arm. Right in that moment, a little more length through the left heel. And then sweep the right arm up and back to grab the instep of the left foot. The gaze can be down or to the right side, whatever the body's feeling. And then very slowly you release out, landing the left shin bones and the right hand. Round your back to clear, exhaling. Arch your back, inhale, then this extension, spread the fingers. Flex your feet here and send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So as you approach down dog, right, first one of the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, whenever you practice, you'll bend and stretch, bend and stretch, right? So letting the arms feel like they're really reaching for the floor, hands very connected. And then slowly guide the body forward, inhale to the plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more, inhale, plank nice and long. Maybe the body ripples smoothly. Exhale, dog. Walk your feet slowly to the hands. As your feet get to the hands, keep the knees bent. A lot of bend here and just fold forward. Keep the knees bent and inhale and just lengthen, right? So even if you think, oh, I want my knees to be, my legs to be straight, just keep those knees bent, fold, right? Receptivity in the backs of the legs. One more inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, reach those arms, stretch up and immediately fold forward and down, exhale. Inhalation lengthens the spine. Exhalation, right leg goes back, knee lands on the mat, top of the foot. Inhale the arms up. As the arms come up, they frame the ears. Here you are, you'll be here for two more rounds of breath. Squeeze the inner thighs. Find that recruitment and that strength and breathe deeply. And then slowly exhale the hands to the floor. Step the left leg back, downward facing dog. Link through the arms, back of the neck feeling soft, jaw released. Inhale, plank pose here. As you come into the plank, real strong legs, knees, chest, chin here. So the knees land, the chest lands and the chin. Rolling forward, rippling forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, slowly release. Two more, just like that. Inhale, as you come up, see if you can lift the chest. Buoyancy in the lung tissue. And then exhale, release. One more time. Inhaling, you come up. Those elbows get closer. And then exhale, slowly down. Push back through child's pose, feet together, knees wide. This is that moment you just remind yourself, yeah, I could stay here as long as I like. I can come right back here at any moment. Real tender in the practice, right? So if it's an evening practice for you and you've had a long day, maybe you land here instead of down dog. Downward facing dog.
The right leg will lift, the right leg will lift, the right foot will step forward and down, lower the left knee down, inhale the arms up. Right? So it's like the body is moving through the liquid here. And you feel the breath and you lift through the center of the chest. Exhaling, hands come down. Back foot steps forward, top of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. A little bit of a lean in, soft in the knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. As you reach all the way up, add a tiny back bend. You totally got this. And then exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest. The left leg goes back. And as you step that left leg back, the knee stays off the mat. And you will extend the arms out in front of you. Keep the chest right there for a moment. Hover that chest over the thigh. Breathe there. Steady the legs. Pitch the torso upright. Go ahead now and take the hands behind the back. Thumb of the right, if you want to be precise, slide the hands down to the left hamstrings, the back of the left upper thigh. Feel that lift in the breath. And then exhale, fold here. Keep the hands woven. Right shoulder might go on the inside. If this is more challenging than you'd like, that back knee can come all the way down. Place the hands on the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet there, breathing. Super long lines of energy, right? So what does that mean? It means you lift through the sit bones up and back. It means that as the back of the legs feel this, you breathe deeper. Inhale, lift the left leg. Keep the hands really pressing forward and down. Step the left foot forward. Foot is straight. Extend the arms, hover that chest over the thigh. And right there is that moment where you just call to action, legs work. Then the torso comes upright, hands come behind you, left thumb leads, slide the knuckles down the back of the right upper thigh, and then back bend here. All right, so you come into yourself, great. Softness in the toes, fold forward and down. Give a nice, generous pull if the body needs it. Right? Balance is definitely a challenge right here. Hands come to the mat. Back foot forward. Inhale, lengthen. Hands can go on the shins if you want to. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees for Utkatasana. Bend your knees for Utkatasana. Inhale your arms up. Inhale, stand tall, tiny back bend. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest. Step or hop into Chaturanga. Totally up to you. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Simply step the right foot forward, warrior one here. So you come into warrior one, inhale those arms up. Lift a little more through the chest. So there's an uprising in the chest. If you want it to feel a little more intense, the elbows can bend really wide like the cactus and the heart can get a little freer space. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms to the floor. Vinyasa. So chaturanga, exhaling. Urdhva mukha, upward facing. Inhaling, exhaling, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, right heel in. Inhale, the arms will come up. Right at first, you feel that snuggling in, muscle to bones. That saran wrapping, skin around your fascia. And then you bend your elbows, palms face forward, and the chest, right, effervescent and bright here. Lifted, open. 
Arms come up when you inhale. Hands on the mat when you exhale. Inhale, left leg back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Putter the lips, but maybe make some sounds. <sighs> right, because sometimes the chest just needs a little softness, a little softness as we open, open into that space. Step the right foot forward. Keep the back heel off the mat. Inhale, the arms come up. Now, you'll shorten the stance a bit. The transition is often something some people fumble over. Others are really graceful. As you transition into warrior three, you will pick up that left leg. Beautiful. And as you pick the leg up, you'll feel the breath here. Heart will open. Inhaling. Exhale the hands to the floor. Keep the left leg in the air. Keep it there. Lift it just slightly higher. When you land the left leg, it'll be warrior one. When you land the left leg, it'll be warrior one. Inhale those arms up. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Heart opening reverse. Swim the arms forward and down. Vinyasa. Right? Chaturanga on an exhale, upward facing on an inhale, downward facing. If you need a respite, take child's pose. You want to go immediately into down dog, totally fine. Left leg will step. As the left foot steps, right heel is off, right heel is off to begin. Inhale the arms up. So, right there, just be still. Remind the mind. Transition is right into warrior three. Right into warrior three. Stutter step, totally fine. Lengthening as much energy through the right leg as through the arms. On your exhalation, your hands land on the floor and your right leg lifts. Beautiful, right? That ripple of lift. Slowly land that right leg in warrior one now. Inhaling. Open, exhale, warrior two. Feel that transition. Yes, the feet might need to move. And then reverse the warrior. Feel this reverse as an opening through the chest, softening in the eyes. And then very deep inhale. Arms come forward and down. Plank pose, inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Plank pose. Lower all the way to the floor. Slide the hands back as the thigh bones roll in. Hands about floating ribs. And then pull the elbows in towards each other. Inhale, lift the chest for low cobra. And then exhale, release. Two more, just like that. Inhaling, rising up. Exhaling, releasing down. One more time, in, up, exhale, down. Rest the left cheek on the floor. Take the hands down by your sides and just shake out the pelvis, right? So this is the way in, right? The way in is through the breath, through lifting and opening. The next one, you will take the hands, weave the hands behind the back. Keep the legs nice and long and straight. Squeeze the elbows towards each other. And inhale, lift the chest. 
As you lift the chest, you can keep pressing the feet into the floor. If the low back feels free, you lift your legs, right? As you lift your legs and you channel that opening from the front of the legs through the front of the chest, you breathe a little more and then you release. Arms come down by your sides, look over the left shoulder, yeah. And right there, a little shaking, opening, breathing. Right? And sometimes this is where the body says, oh, that's a lot. I'm ready for Shavasana. We're almost there. Slowly, you'll bend your knees. And if you can grab the outside edges of your feet, you will do so. Bow pose, Dhanurasan. If you cannot, you will reweave the fingers and just bend the knees, okay? Meet yourself exactly where you are. You're doing a great job. Inhale, kick those legs up, lift the chest. And slowly release, downward facing dog. So you go right into down dog so the arms can feel like they yearn for the mat, so the heels can feel like they drag down toward the floor. Inhale to the plank. If it feels like a lot for you, stay in the plank. If not, exhale to the low plank. Inhaling, upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing. Lower the knees to the floor. Sit the hips on the heels. Weave the fingers behind the head. Elbows bend. So as you approach Ustrasana camel, this is a great way to just say, I'm gonna bend through the middle of my spine, right, upper thoracic. Inhale, bring the gaze up, and then bring the chest up and hold your head, right? There's a tendency in any kind of back bend to overdo the low back. So we wanna lift up, lift up like there's a spreading and an opening. And in this moment, there's a real deep connection to the throat and the heart. And then slowly release. Place the hands on the thighs, feel that. That was super intense for you. Do one more round like that. Otherwise, stand on the shins. Go ahead. Take the hands behind your head one more time. Press the shins into the floor, really active through the shins. And inhale, go ahead and lift up. I like to feel like the ribs lift up, like the heart lifts, and then the gaze is up. Upper traps relax. Mm -hmm. So the gaze comes up, let the head go back a little. If it feels like a lot, remember your hands can be a hammock for your head, holding it there. Lift, lift, lift. And then slowly come up, sit down, right, breathe. And this is where you'll get a clear answer. Right? Your mind will go, oh, please, one more. Or it'll say, no thanks, just be still. So in yoga, it's all about listening to your inner guidance. And Terry's inner guidance is saying, I want to do one more. So inhale, stand on those shins. You can flex your feet here. If you flex your feet, it shortens the distance for your hands to your heels. Legs are super vibrant. Inhale, lift the chest. Slide those hands back. See if you can grab the heels. If you can't, hands stay on the hips. Yeah, lifting really bright, like the rays of the sun are coming through the chest. And then slowly inhale, come up, hands to hips. Exhale, sit back on the heels just for a moment. Toes will point there. Let that saturate in. Downward facing dog. So you can stay in down dog. If you want one more vinyasa before you come to the floor, it's totally up to you, right? Plank, chaturanga, low cobra up. Downward facing dog. And then hop the feet through the hands or walk the feet through the hands and come onto a seated position and then onto your back. Slide those heels right in immediately and then slowly lift the pelvis up. Roll the shoulders toward the floor and weave the fingers. 
pelvis really high. So this is actually mimicking the pose you just did. Instead of your belly being on the mat, it's the ceiling that it's oriented with. So lift, lift, lift the pelvis, lift. And then slowly, gently release. If you're someone who loves the wheel, Urdhva Dhanurasana, and your body is craving that right now, you can take the hands underneath the shoulders and go into the wheel, right? Fingertips facing the feet, one inhalation to come up, right? No expectation. Maybe you just land on your head and you stay. Otherwise, thigh bones roll in, right? Lifting, wonderful front body stretch happening, and then slowly come down. Gently landing. Now is the time to hug the knees into the chest. Some people, that's their favorite part of the practice. If you're one of those people, do two more or stay in one a little longer. Right now, land the heels by your hips. Pick the pelvis up and move the pelvis to the right. And the knees will go to the left. might get an adjustment through the spine. See if the breath can remind you. Right? On your mat, you win every time. Always about just being with the breath and doing the best you can. Slowly switch sides. All right, so when you're back bending, Sometimes the heart gets more tender for the rest of the day because the chest is really feeling like it's lifting and it's open. And some people spend most of the day in slumping asana. That's what I call it. So we want to be bright. We want to guide the spine up and tune into our highest, best self. Slowly release out of that twist and make your way into Shavasana. Right as you come into Shavasana, let the body align, so shimmy out whatever needs to be moved out of the way. Some people like to feel a different shape after. Fully welcome that for yourself. If there's something that's calling you, you feel a shape, take that shape. If not, let the body receive in Shavasana. Slowly, you can stay as long as you like, right? You just breathe and stay with it. Thanks so much. Thank yourself. Namaste.